Folks, so it is very frustrating to find out that the cat on your vehicle got stolen. And uh, it's also very expensive to replace. So in this video, I'm actually going to show you my analysis and the way that I'm going with uh, to find another cat, catalytic converter for my, for my previous Gen 2. All right, so in my study and my research, this is the four, the major four options that you can go with. First, of course, is the insurance plan. So depending on your plan, my plan is basic for this 2006 Prius. It is not covered by my insurance basic plan. All right. However, for your insurance, if you got covered, you just need to pay $500 to $1,000 deductible, right? And, and that's it. And then, according to my friend that uh, she has a Nissan Versa, the cat got stolen, the car actually in the repair shop for three months. So that's the wait time you should be expecting. All right. The second option you got is junkyard. So I live in Southern California. We have tons of junkyard over here. I actually call the junkyard one by one. I even visit some of them to see if there has some parts available to parts out, especially the cat. Unfortunately, nothing, nada. It's all sold out, right? The cat was stolen so bad that they all sold out um, and it's still on the rise. So junkyard, if they have it, they can give it to you. They can sell it to you for $1,500, right? And the problem is no parts, not available. That brings us to the third option. The third option is the dealer, which is the most expensive one. So Toyota dealer usually charge you $3,000 for brand new cats, uh, of course, plus tax, right? So uh, the wait time for this one, they said, they told me it's about two months. But that number is optimistic because I know there's a global shipping problem right now, right at this time, 2021. Nothing can be shipped overseas, basically just waiting outside of Long Beach. So uh, two months, I'm pretty sure optimistic is probably four months to be more precise. That's how much time it took my lithium batteries to ship from factory to the United States, four months. All right, now bring us to the last one, which is the, my favorite one, aftermarket parts. I leave a big space for this because, all right, so first, uh, if you check on eBay or Amazon, you will find the cheapest, most affordable cat, aftermarket cat available is about $180. This is the low sale cat, so it's not as good as the stock from the Toyota. Uh, however, it's still a cat, right? And it's mostly legal outside of California. California has the very strict uh, emission regulation. That's why most of the aftermarket cat is not legal in California. You cannot just buy one from eBay or Amazon and ship it to you. They don't ship it to you at all. I try it. Just go to eBay and Amazon right now and try it. The shipping option is not there if you live in the California. Those are not California legal. However, there's an option. If you want, really want this, there's an option. It's around $300 to $500 on Craigslist. Right? And it's a mobile service. I'm pretty sure the guy just buy it from eBay, Amazon, ship it to out of state and come back and then uh, doing mobile service. He will come to your house and replace the aftermarket cat for around $300 to $500, even including the O2 sensor. <laughs> and then you have the option of some, not some, just one legal California aftermarket cat, which is made by Megaflow. I hope 
I pronounce it correctly, Magnaflow. They are the only one that has the uh, CA compliance stamp actually on the CAT itself. They pass all the exam and everything, so it's legal, right? If you go to the Smart Chat Center, get an inspection, they check it, they see the stamp, CA compliance, they will let you go, let you pass. So Magnaflow. Uh, however, it's selling for $2,740 plus tax, plus shipping. And the wait right now, I just call, it's, sorry, it's one month. So you can order it right now on the website, on their website, $2,700 is yours, plus tax, plus shipping, of course. Yeah, and uh, it's very, it's making a flow, so it, it could be an upgrade, right? It's probably better than the stock one. However, it's pretty much the same price, very expensive. So, picking which one is your choice. However, for my circumstances, this test car has 240,000 miles. Uh, it's a test car, so it got tortured by me and the tester, beta tester, every single day. I'm pretty sure that <laughs> I think the engine gonna blow out very soon anyway. So I am not willing to pay three thousand dollar nor two thousand dollar for any cat for for this vehicle. It's just not worth it in my case. So my strategy myself again, this is not legal advice, and uh, this is just my personal experience and my personal preference. Um, um, I go with the lowest. 300 to 500 dollar Crelix mobile service. I have it installed on the car. At least the car now is back on the road. I can continue my testing. Uh, I have so many testing need to do. Uh, let me show you that uh, a little bit of sneak peek very soon. Uh, and that fit my budget and that repair right there on that day. So there's no downtime. All right, so that's the good thing about Crelix mobile service. They come to your house in the afternoon, replace it, that's it, done. You don't need to wait and you don't need to pay a bunch more for that. So the problem is it's going to fail at the inspection even though they tell you, oh, it's going to pass, no problem, but no. They don't have the stamp. So if the smart check center know what they are doing, they will look for the stamp. Um, if the, you don't have it, that means uh, aftermarket modify and they won't pass it, all right? Uh, so that's something keep in mind. That's what what will happen, okay? Um, but your case may, might vary, right? You, you probably got a, a newer Prius or newer car. You definitely don't want to go with the $300 aftermarket. You probably just wait, all right? Just wait a little bit, get an insurance plan, and then wait, uh, have a rental car and also, or just Uber in the meantime, and wait for a couple of months for your car to back, get back. It's a difficult time and people do very crazy things. So that's uh, just some of the option for you. Hopefully that can help you out. And while you are here, let me show you some of the project I'm working on right now, beside this crazy cat replacement. All right, so right here, I have the SUV, the SUV Lysian replace pack, prototype, O3 printing right now, just finished, still hot. All right, I have, I'm having the cell ready and I'm working on the electronic. There's a bunch of state of art electronic going in there. I need to make sure it lasts a long time, of course, and do some simulation with the pack. And over here is my Gen 2 that the cat got replaced. All right, I'm working on some secret project. It's crazy. Yeah, it's the next level of stuff that I can tell you right now, but the video is coming up very soon. So stay tuned.
Yeah, I think that's high enough. <laughs> Safety first. All right, now it's secure. Let's go check it out. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so this is the aftermarket the, uh, cat that we found on eBay. You can find it on Amazon as well, but they don't sell it in California. You, 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 but, but eBay probably will do. Um, so what they do, I have installer come over and install into the car. It's very cheap, even come with the O2 sensor. Um, and see this, if you ever go to a California smart chest center, this is gonna fail you because it's a clamp. Basically, just clamp the pipe together. The, the thief actually cut through here, make a mark at the shell, and then take out the and unbolt it from the front and take this out. So what what the installer do is actually just clamp it on temporary. And it's actually not looks not too bad. This is when we brand new it's like stainless steel, but right now with the color changing it looks just like a stock cat. I think with this being welded together, it will be able to pass the uh, the California Smart Check Center because there's no uh, visible indication of whether it's a Toyota stock or it's aftermarket, yeah. So, uh, and, and on top of that, if we put the, the shield on, the, the cash shield on, it's basically make it invisible. So, uh, let's take this out and check it out from the inside and see what the aftermarket cap looks like. Okay, let's remove the O2 sensor. Here we go. Take out the auto sensor so we don't damage it during the installation. Yeah, brand new. Beautiful. All right, let's remove the bolt at the front. 240 millimeter with the spring loaded. There we go. So good with power tool, must have. I want to go. This bolt maybe looks too new, so you would probably will fail you at the inspection, but I don't think they will see it. <laughs> All right, now let's remove the clamp. Let's see what they use. I think it's a 30 millimeter, it's non-standard. All right, let's remove the clamp. Now the entire cat can't be st stolen by me again. <laughs> wow, it's uh, very tight feet. Damn. Okay, you need some persuasion. Here we go.
Man, that's an ugly cut. See this? It's a smaller diameter diameter than the original. It's a smaller diameter, so it's not good for the for the flow. Yeah, so you'd be better to uh, shape it and then weld it on. Uh, yeah, I think, I think the installer just trying to save time, so so make it smaller, so easier to plug in. Well, I think I'm gonna do it right. Grinding a little bit. Yeah, okay. Now let's take out the cat and see what's inside. Whoa, it's heavy. Okay, so you see, this is actually the, the aftermarket cat cells looks like. There's actually something there. I thought it's just gonna be empty and looks like a cat, but it does have something. Um, so we have two cylinders over here, one here and another one. Let's take a look at the other one. Yeah, this one's cleaner. This is the outlet going off on here. You can see there are some cells in there. Not sure about the material, but it's definitely a, it's not as good as the stock one from Toyota. Because when I idle the car, I can smell it. The uh, the cat is the smell is stronger than when they see with the stock collective converter. So I'm pretty sure this is a low counting cell. It will work, but the, uh, it's just not as good as the Toyota one. Yeah, so my plan is to put this on for now because I need to drive the car. It's a test vehicle, right? Like I need to continue driving it and take my time, look at internet, find a used one, and to install the used one back to the car before the next smart check. That's my plan. But for now, this is good enough. I just need to get around town and testing my battery uh, for my new project. Okay, maybe grind it a little bit. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah. Let's put the uh, the Toyota cat back on. <coughs> and always clean out the workspace. What a mess. this first and provide even pressure on both sides Good, this more. And we are good. 
Double check, everything is secure. All right, and auto sensor. Let's put the auto sensor back on. Actually, I'm going to adjust the angle a little bit. And we are done. And this is such a nightmare to deal with when you have the situation, no matter what angle you're looking at it. So prevent this situation from happening again, I will highly suggest to get a cash shield. All right, that brings us to the uh, today's sponsor. My friend at Cat Security sent me over this uh, beautiful plates. Actually, this looks much better even for the cat. I'm pretty sure maybe the, the, the thief next time will just steal the plate instead of stealing the cat, the, uh, the cat in the car. But anyway, look at this. It's patent pending and uh, heavy gauge aluminum shield. It comes with all the, the fastener. Uh, it has the uh, self-tabbing screw and also it has the one directional screw so once you put in there it's not coming out uh, for today we are going to use our own screw because I need to take out the plate again to weld the uh, the cat around it to well, the aftermarket cat uh, to make it look like a, a, a Toyota Prada so we're gonna install it with my own screw and I'm going through that process with you let's go so they had the shield for Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, and Gen C. I guess this is Prius C and this is Prius V. It's all different. I thought it's going to be the same thing, but now look at the shape and the size. I know this is the huge difference. Yeah, and two piece, two piece. Very nice. I'm pretty sure they have the, uh, the cash shield for different, different cars as well, not only for Prius. Not only for Toyota. So this is a dr drilling hose uh, to fit the side of the plate onto the car. But at the front, there are three bigger holes. Uh, you have to find those three 10 millimeter bolts and then um, secure the plate first with those three 10 millimeter bolts and then start drilling, tapping and drilling on the side. So let's go, let's go find the 10 millimeter underneath the car. One. Two. And three. Here we go. Nice. Okay. I guess we don't need uh, the, <laughs> the plastic shield anymore. This, this metal shield is going to do a better job. Let's line up. One, one, two, three. Okay. And secure it. Good. Now we can start marking out the holes on the side. Oh. 
on mic. Okay. Right. I guess I can just drill through it. This is right here. Good. It's one fight to go. Let's go to the other side. Here we go, four to go. Looks like there's some sprint damage here, so the frame is not straight. It's a little bit uh, <laughs> denting in from his side, but it's okay. It's okay, it's a 20 years old car. All right. Right now, it's the time to secure the front three bolts, 10 millimeter. Nice. I'm pretty sure you don't, we don't need this anymore. This is cover everything up for you. <laughs> and that's it. The installation is super straightforward for the cat security. The first three bolts on the top, on the front, you install it and align the rest of it and drill holes and secure it with the self-tapping screw or with the, uh, the one directional screw. Yeah, with that, I think the car is back to its original shape and I think uh, at least I can drive it, right? And without any fear parking at the side of the road during the night. If you like the content, definitely like and hit that subscribe. Also, special thanks to our uh, friend, our, our team at the catsecurity.com. Actually, their website is getscatsecurity.com. Check out their website for any security, for any shield, not only for Prius, but for all the cars, maybe most of the car with the cat in there. Definitely check our website, Project for the amazing lithium battery replacement for the Prius. I see you at the next one.